Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Welcome to the Panhandle State, Oklahoma, and home of the Oklahoma City Thunder. And, of course, Seth Curry. They really haven't filled the void yet in the wake of his absence. Yeah, and no question that it's a risky deal to make because it's the kind of move that can turn a team's fan base against the front office. But trading one of the most popular players on the team is always risky no matter what you get in return. Here are the starters for Montreal. We've got Ilya Sova. He's out there with Green. And it's Lopez in at the five spot. And here at the midway point of the year, lots of guys banged up, Clark. Is it hard to decide when to play through and, and then maybe not to play? When, when to sit? Yeah, you know, that's a good question, Kevin. And a lot of times it's about pain tolerance, the severity of the injury. Is it something that you can play with that won't linger on and you don't have the possibility of further injury? Those are the factors that go into playing hurt or playing in pain. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake left his feet way too soon. Gilgis Alexander against Dinwiddie and he's able to get it back. Robinson for three. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. You know Horford is really good and selective at when he needs to be aggressive and when he needs to move the ball. Cool no good. Thunder off to a quick start here. It's a three point game. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Here's Poole. From outside, off the mark. Now the Thunder with it. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the boards. You know, I think that was the big difference in the game. One team was pounding the glass relentlessly, while the other team, not so much. And this is where the power rankings sort of lock in as we begin to look toward the postseason. You look at Brooklyn, they've climbed all the way up to the second spot. You know, right now for Montreal, they're just taking it one game at a time, dismantling each opponent along the way as they were predicted to do. Now here's Dinwiddie, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Robinson, and again Oklahoma City with the triple. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're leading by eight. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Poole's got his second bucket tonight. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And that one drops. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Then Whitty with the bucket. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. The Thunder leading by seven. And time first out, time, time of the game called for Oklahoma City. And team strategies closely guarded one aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to yeah typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout it might be major or it could be just a slight tweak here's white sweet little floater uh, assists like that have typified their effort today terrific ball movement really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively much more individual play at the other end man can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass money and it's Rajon Rondo with the foul that is his first foul of the game now here's Melodon He's covered by Rondo. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Yeah, they're scoring with confidence, making them count in the early going here. Jackson. 
And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Here's White. It's deflected, and they're able to recover. Second shot opportunity. Lopez outside. The pass to Jackson. And another three for Montreal. And that's exactly what he's looking to do more and more. Lopez creating for his teammates. White, wide open. He fires. Great look, but off the mark. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Thunder lead by four. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Oakland. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And for the Thunder guys, what stands out to you so far? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. On the court right now for Montreal, Rajon Rondo is out there with Jackson. Then there's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Brissett in at the four. Aladon passes to Horford, and a dunk by Horford. How about Horford showing you that he knows a little bit about elevation? The big fella bouncing to the rack. Pass to Jackson. Picked him clean. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. And then Aladon with the dunk. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Took him no time at all on that one. Brooks has got six points in the quarter. Well, you know, Rondo's a multi-time league assist leader. If you're open, he's getting you to rock. Down low, White. Lays it up off the glass. Time out, time out. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent. 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja. Both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. Smith for three. That shot misses. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Banked in off the glass. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. For three, Smith. No good, shot missing. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up sensational ball movement there when you pass the ball like that good things happen Smith against Gilgis Alexander Baisley passes to White off the mark there with the three point shot Montreal trails by six inside Brissette's shot is good Brissette's got his second bucket a super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. White with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. White the pass to Baisley. Outside, White. Passes it to Dort. Traps in the tray. Dort's got 10 points. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So, so why not? Brooks kicks to Smith. Here's the three. Buries it from three-point range. Well, you got to get out on Smith from deep. He's very good at stroking it from downtown. To the middle. Here's Johnson. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. And the Thunder lead by six. Smith for three. And another three for Montreal. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebound by Smith. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. 
Ilya Sova inside the line. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And it's now only a one point Oklahoma City lead. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Gilgis Alexander, good. Largely because of that length, Gilgis Alexander feeling confident attacking inside. Here's Dinwiddie. And another three for Montreal. White against Dinwiddie. A floater. Brissette grabs the miss. Got it off in time. Oh, and he nails it just in time. One eye on the rim, one on the clock. What a play. An ideal way to end the quarter with momentum on your side. And that's it for the first half of action. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for Montreal, Kenny, what was your impression? Well, one area where they have had the upper hand is scoring off the bench. When the second unit... And... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. Robinson is out there with Johnson. Then there's Horford. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Makes it off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Kept alive. Outside green. Takes a three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists now in this one. Here's Dort. Ten points for him. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Rajon Rondo's checked in for Dinwiddie. Montreal leading by four. A couple years ago, after making all-rookie second team, we knew Gilgis Alexander was good. But, Greg, last season he went from good <laughs> to great. I mean, how about almost doubling his scoring average? Became a tremendous rebounder out of the backcourt. He gives you assists and picks up steals as well. Once he gains more strength, this guy could be a perennial all-star. Able to just go right over the top. I mean, the big man, Lopez, doing work. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Inside, here's Horford. And finished off by Horford. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Poole's got six in the quarter. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. And Green gets it to go. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. You're exactly right. I mean, those come back to bite you every time, just like it's biting them now. Outside, Horford. There's the pass to Pakusevsky. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. 
hey, when you're as strong and as physical as Horford is, you're going to have to deal with physical defense. That's just part of the territory. On the flip side of that, though, you're going to have some and one opportunities, too. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Baisley's checked in. And it's Kobe White in for Gilgis Alexander. Brooks from outside. They get it back. Outside for Jackson. There's the triple. Nailed from three-point land. Jackson's got the lead up to six now for Montreal. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three point shot. But it seems like they have just not figured it out. Here's Brooks. Again, Montreal scores. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And here is Melodon. Pass to Horford. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Montreal. Brooks for three. And another three for Montreal. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Jackson dishes to Smith. That's tipped with one on the clock. And so it's Montreal holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of... And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court right now for Montreal, Brooks is out there with Jackson, and it's Smith, and it's Brissett in at the center. Nice shot by Smith. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John ja Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. Horford is a true pro in how he does everything. There's no quit in this guy. Extremely competitive and highly productive. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Montreal. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. Well, it's been a super performance from beyond the arc, too. I mean, they've been reining in those threes. Glenn Robinson, the third, is checked in for the Thunder. White looking around. It's rebounded by Montreal. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. From deep, Ilyasova. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got four assists now tonight. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's White, and White slams it in. And at 6'5", White more than capable athletically, like the aggressiveness there. Brooks, the pass to Green. Over Robinson. Tries again. Ilya Sova inside the line. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Ilya Sova's got five points now this quarter. Thunder trailing by 14. Dinwiddie with the steal. Here's Poole. He's guarded by Johnson. And stolen by White. It's rebounded by Montreal. Brooks has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. On the wing, Brooks. And here's Green outside. And another three for Montreal. 
relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Dylan Brooks. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. They increased his role tonight after dropping their last game, and the move paid off. He's, he's been the best player on the court by far, and now they don't have to worry about a losing streak. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for Montreal. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And the effort here tonight, adding to the W column for the season, it'll go down as their 48th win. And guys, because they play in different conferences, this is the last time these two will face off. It has to feel good getting a clean sweep here, finishing the season series 2-0 against the Thunder. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Brooks. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. Green fires from way outside. They get a hand on it, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the final quarter. To the inside, Chandler, and the dunk by Chandler. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Ball's knocked loose, stolen by Jackson. So we see Montreal get the win here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs> I mean, Kevin.